special thanks to Patreon support Transfighter 8 for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare204 here bringing you another Minecraft tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the 1993 Toyota T100 Trophy Truck version. Uh, basically this was a modified uh, Toyota T100 truck into a off-road vehicle uh, known as a trophy truck. Uh, overall it's a really cool looking uh, vehicle and I actually remember having like a little die cast uh, model of one of these cars because I used to love to make like little racetracks and stuff like that because I was really into off-roading when I was a kid and um, I still find off-roading really cool but definitely more when I was a kid you know my dad and uh, uncle did off-roading and stuff and uh, I had all these little die cast cars and all that stuff for uh, buggies and uh, you know trucks and stuff like that and used to always make tracks and stuff going out to the desert it was a lot of fun uh, but I specifically remember having actually one of these as a uh, die cast car and it was super cool and it um, is overall a super nice build I don't know exactly where this uh, truck participated in probably um, I don't think it was a stadium truck I think it was a definitely a um, you know truck that was out in the desert so Baja 1000 Baja 500 um, you know stuff like that uh, overall, really cool looking uh, build and uh, going to be a little bit of a different tutorial as we don't really typically do too many uh, vehicles of this sort, but definitely a really cool vehicle nonetheless. So I want to give a special thanks to Patreon supporter Trenchfighter8 for making this tutorial possible. Um, if you are interested in supporting the channel more than you guys already do, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is down in the description. There's uh, some cool benefits for being a Patreon supporter and of course it's uh, much appreciated by me as it helps me out and everything like that. But uh, regardless, it's completely optional. You don't have to donate, uh, but you know it's always there in case you guys are uh, feeling a little generous or anything like that. Anyways, uh, going ahead and uh, taking a look at the build itself, uh, it's overall pretty cool. So it's got a white kind of uh, color for most of it, and then it's also uh, equipped with some uh, you know red, orange, and uh, yellow, which looks really cool. And we have a clever use of some banners on the side to really kind of show uh, the di diagonal lines and stuff like that on the side. Um, anyways, going ahead and uh, taking a look up at the front here, we have obviously the front um, grille up here, the front headlights both sides, a little bit of a, um, you know, kind of front, um, you know, bar up on the front here, um, not really a bumper, but uh, like a little front kind of rail there. Uh, we then have kind of like the paint job that goes in here, so we have kind of like a smaller white line, then it goes to a longer kind of orange, and then red, and then red kind of flows throughout the top of the truck all the way toward the back. On the sides, uh, you can see kind of a similar type design, so it's diagonal lines here of uh, yellow and orange, um, so you can see with the banners here, kind of what I did to show that, and it actually came out pretty good. Um, and then going ahead and coming back to the back, we got obviously the red that kind of flows in and kind of maintains the back section. I think the back section is definitely the strongest point of this, lots of detail going on here, so we have uh, the, you know, uh, radiator, uh, the fans here, um, brake lights, the uh, dust light and uh, also just some uh, minor little details inside here and of course the spare tire that's mounted onto the back which is a little offside offsided and not perfect because it's like a full block around but uh best i could really do with obviously the scale i'm working at here and uh, i do believe it is a little off center um it actually might be centered i'm not 100 sure but uh you know i had to kind of make that compromise for uh, the sake of the vehicle uh, we also have the one in a banner on both sides here uh, one's definitely going to work the best here considering the banner is only half of it showing uh, so kind of uh, you know a little bit of a thing that you know kind of has to be the best number there that works and um, it's also a number I saw in a lot of models and uh, of course we got the uh, inside here for the driver and the passenger some uh, of the roll cage and stuff like that detail in the back as you can see and everything like that overall it's a really cool look uh, looking vehicle and um Definitely interesting one. It's uh, definitely a little bit different, and uh, hope you guys uh, can all enjoy it and find some kind of use for it. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by starting off with our first layer, layer one. All right, guys, moving on to our first layer, we'll be going ahead and starting off with layer one. For layer one, we're going to go ahead and place down another brick upside down stair uh, with another stair right behind it. This is going to be the start of the left front wheel. We then want to place down a stone brick top slab to the side, followed by an iron trap door and another stone brick top slab. On this side of the stone brick top side, I'm going to place down another nether brick upside down stair. And an upside down stair come out the back of it to create the front axle with the right, left front and right front wheels light down on both sides. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and uh, take some placeholder blocks. So we can just use some wool for this or you can just visually count it out. 
Um, so for this, we're going to go, ahead and go back from the iron trap door. One, two, three, four, and five blocks back. We're going to place down these stone brick tops then. We can delete these placer blocks and then place down these stone brick tops on both sides of this one right here to create a row three across. We're then going to place down a nether brick upside down stair, come off the stone brick top subs, and also a upside down stair, come off that one toward the back here. Same thing on this side like this. So you're going to go ahead and create your uh, front and rear axle. So you get, should get something that kind of looks like that. Once that's all complete, that is going to do it for layer one. With that, let's move on to layer two. Before we go ahead and jump into layer two, I just want to go ahead and cover one thing that's from layer one as well. We uh, actually want to place down a row of iron trap doors here that kind of come off these two narrow brick stairs up here in the front, kind of at an angle. Again, the front of the truck's up here in case you already didn't know, and that's the rear right there. Uh, but anyways, now moving into layer two. To go ahead and get started with this layer, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of three of upside down narrow brick stairs on top of these iron trap doors. Once that's done, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves a stone uh, slab and we're going to place down a stone uh, top slab here on both sides of those uh, nether brick stairs. Around the uh, stone slabs we're going to go and take signs and wrap them around like this. Same thing on both sides here. On the front of the slabs facing toward the front we're going to place down a item frame on the side of the slab and then we're going to place down some bright stained glass uh, blocks in the item frames like that for the front headlights. We then want to go ahead and go to the side of the slabs we're going to place down an item frame with an orange stained glass um, I or, uh, painted it. And same thing over here, just like that orange stained glass full block. Once that's all done, we're going to go and place down a uh, nether brick, uh, what is going to be, I believe it's a nether brick stair. So it's an upside down nether brick stair that's going to come off of this uh, nether brick stair right here that goes back like this. We're going to place down an iron trap or iron uh, end rod, sorry, to both sides of the stair. And on top of these two upside down nether brick stairs, we're going to place down two nether brick stairs back to back like that for the front wheels. We then want to place down an anvil on this iron trap door here, followed by a cobblestone wall on both sides. Once that's done, continuing on, we want to go ahead and take our uh, stone brick slabs in this case, because we're going to be going ahead and make, basically making the floor here. Uh, we're going to place down a row of three of stone brick slabs across the front there. And um, I do believe we actually want to go ahead and go to the center um, slab here. We're actually going to turn that into a full block um, like that. Once that's done, go ahead and continue back. We're going to place down a stone brick slab on uh, both sides here. And we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a stone brick stair. And we're going to place down a stone brick stair here coming off the, uh, the stone brick uh, full block right there. So just like that. We then want to grab ourselves a nether brick, um, or sorry, a black wool block. And we're going to place down a black wool block on both sides. And again, a stone brick slab in between them. Once that's done, we're going to place down a stone brick stair on both sides of these two black wool blocks and a stone brick slab in between them. Uh, once that's done, we're also going to go ahead and grab some cobblestone walls. We're going to place down a row of uh, cobblestone walls and also we're going to need some quartz blocks. We're going to place down a quartz block coming off this uh, this uh, narrow brick stair here. We're going to place down a row of one, two, and three cobblestone walls back along the side here. And we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a red wool block and place down a red wool block like that. So same thing is going to happen over here. Quartz block, three cobblestone walls back, and a red wool block like that. Once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves some uh, polished or uh, just some stone brick we can use. Uh, we're gonna place down a row of three of stone brick in between these uh, red wool blocks. Once that's done, uh, we're gonna place down a anvil on the middle stone brick top slab here, followed by again a cobblestone wall on both sides. And uh, we're gonna go and take a narrow brick stair and place down two narrow brick stairs back to back on top of those two upside down narrow brick stairs like that. Once that's uh, done there, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves some uh, black wool. We're going to place down a row of three of black wool across the back here in between those narrow brick stairs. And we also want to go ahead and grab some narrow brick fence gates or fence posts, sorry, and place down a row of three across the back and a sign that's going to be coming off the, uh, the middle uh, narrow brick fence post. Uh, lastly, we're just going to grab ourselves a brick slab and place down a brick top slab, come off the two narrow brick stairs here on both sides for the rear there. Once you guys have that done, you should get something that kind of looks like this so far for the, uh, layer two. With that, let's move on to our next layer, layer three. All right, guys, so moving into layer three. For layer three, we're gonna be using some banners, so we're gonna go ahead and make those uh, while we're at it, so we can just get them done and out of the way and just move straight into the layer. Uh, so for these, we're gonna need to go ahead and grab ourselves two white banners, two yellow banners, two orange banners. We're also gonna need some orange dye, yellow dye, and also some uh, red dye. Um, so let's go ahead and go into our crafting table. The first one we're gonna make is we're gonna go ahead and place down a, a white banner here in the center. And we want to go ahead and take yellow uh, dye and we're going to place it down to the right side like that. And we can grab our banner and place it in our inventory. 
We're going to take our second white banner, place it in here. This time we're going to place down dandelion yellow to the left side. So we can go and grab our banner. And you'll see here that we created two banners that uh, look like this. And it is necessary for us to have both because um, obviously you can see just kind of for example here on the side, the uh, lines won't line up correctly with the angles if we have the same banner across. So we need to make two different banners. We're going to go ahead and go into the crafting table again. We're going to place down a yellow banner in the middle and do the same thing here, but with orange dye. So we get, uh, we're going to get two different uh, orange banners here like that, both facing different directions. And again, we can place these down like that. Uh, going ahead and continue on, going back into our crafting table. Uh, we're going to do the same thing here for an orange banner, this time with rose wet red. So we're going to go and do the same thing over here, get that, and our last orange banner here to the other side, like so. So now we should have a set of uh, basically, you know, these banners here. We should have a total of six banners made, and we're going to be going ahead and using these for this layer. Uh, with that though, let's go ahead and actually move into building the layer now with the banners out of the way. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer. We're going ahead and moving on to layer three. For layer three, we're going to go ahead and start off by going to the narrow brick up some stairs in the front. We're going to place down a birchwood slab on top of those narrow brick stairs. We then want to place down a quartz slab to both sides like that. And we're going to follow it up by placing down a second quartz slab to both sides. Coming off the uh, middle two quartz slabs, we're going to place down two uh, wither skeleton skulls. Come off those, followed by an end rod in between those skulls. Once that's done, go ahead and go back. We're gonna place down a quartz stair on both sides and a row of three of acacia wood planks in between. Go ahead and continue on. We're gonna place down a upside down uh, quartz stair on both sides for the fenders here and a row of three of red wool across in between. After that, on top of these two quartz full blocks on both sides, we're gonna place down a red wool, or sorry, a uh, quartz uh, stair like this, followed by a row of three of black wool directly behind those quartz stairs. Once that's all finished there, we're going to go and place down an end rod that's going to be on top of this stone brick stair right here. Uh, we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a dark oak wood fence gate. We're going to place it down coming off this uh, coming off this black wool block right over here on the left side for the driver. And we also want to go ahead and go into our inventory, grab ourselves an item frame, place down an item frame and a black wool block in the item frame like so. Once that's done, uh, to the sides here, we're going to go ahead and take some cobblestone walls. We're going to place down one, two and three back same thing over here one two and three cobblestone walls back uh we're then going to place down a orange uh wool block so an orange wool block that's going to be on top of this red wool block on both sides here we're going to take some uh brick stairs we're going to place down a brick upside down stair like this followed by another upside down stair behind it same thing over here on this side just like this over the wheel to create the fender and we also want to go and place down a red wool block on these two brick top steps like that for the back here uh, once that's done, on this uh, row of stone brick uh, full blocks right here, we're going to place down a row of three of black wool across. We then want to place down an end rod, coming off the two side black wool blocks. And in the middle, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick sl uh, slab like this on top of the anvil. Continuing on, we're going to place down a uh, another brick stair that's going to be on top of this black wool block right here. And we want to go ahead and grab ourselves a wither skeleton skull and place it down, coming off the sides of both sides of this another brick stair like that. Once that's all finished there, uh, we want to go ahead and uh, grab ourselves some narrow brick slabs. Or, or we're going to go ahead and place down a row of three and narrow brick top slabs across. And coming off this row of three, we're going to place down a row of two here. Or sorry, a row of two of uh, narrow brick top slabs and a row of two of narrow brick full blocks like so. Going back over to our banners, we can go ahead and grab our banners real quick. So we have our uh, two banners here. We're going to grab these as well. And we can go ahead and start putting these into action. So starting off with, uh, we actually need to go ahead and also grab ourselves just a plain white banner. So we'll grab that as well. We're going to start off by placing down a plain white banner on this cobblestone wall right here. We then want to place down a yellow, the yellow and white banner like this. We want to make sure the angle is going toward the back. We're then going to place down a uh, yellow and orange banner. And then a orange and red banner like that going back for the design here. And going over to this side, we're going to do the same thing. So just like this, going back, but this time with the opposite banners, or my bad, uh, this one right here. So just like that for the sides there, and that's going to pretty much do it for layer three. With that, let's go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer four. Before we go ahead and dive into layer four, I just real quick, we want to go ahead and make the banner that's on the back here for the number. As I mentioned, with the only half the banner uh, basically being shown here, it's best to go ahead and make the number one for the truck. Uh, but you can experiment around see what you can come up with. Uh, but basically, to do this, very simply, we're going to place down a black banner on our crafting table. We want to place down a row of white bone meal down the uh, middle like this. We can go ahead and grab our back black banner, 
So it should be a white line down the middle, two black lines on both sides. We're just going to take um, some ink sacks now and make a uh, border all the way around the banner. And that's going to create a very basic uh, one. So just like that, and that's going to be going on the side here. Uh, anyways, that's all we need to do for banners. Let's go ahead and move into the layer. So before we go and move into layer four real quick, I want to make a quick, quick few ad additions to the previous layer, layer three. So for layer three, I forgot to add that we want to place down two wooden trap doors that can be opened up um, on these two black wool blocks like that for the backs of the seats. And we also want to go and take their brick fence posts and place down a row three across those black wool blocks like that in the back there for a bit of the roll cage. Once that's complete though, we can go ahead and move into layer two. So to get started with this, or sorry, my bad, layer four. So to get started with this layer, we're going to place down a skeleton skull on top of these two quartz stairs like down on both sides. Going back from this, uh, this, uh, uh, skeleton skull, we're going to place down a quartz top slab on both sides like that. Once that's done, we want to go ahead and then skip a space. We're going to place down a black stained glass block on top of these two cobblestone walls. Uh, once that's all done, we can go ahead and grab ourselves a placeholder block. So just any kind of wool block make it easy to tell the difference um, and also with our skeleton skull now we're going to go to off these black stained glass blocks we're going to place down a place or block on the inside here followed by a wither skeleton skull come off the side of these blocks we're going to go and then delete those blocks and that's going to create the back headrest here for the seats and everything like that we also want to grab ourselves a white banner we're going to place down a white banner coming off these two black stained glass blocks like that and uh, we also want to go ahead and go to the inside here place down again a uh, narrow brick fence post going up on both sides here and we're going to place down an end rod across in between them like that again for the back roll cage. Um, continuing on uh, the back section here we're going to go and place down two black wool blocks to the right side like this. We want to go and go into our inventory and grab ourselves a cyan stained plate block that's going to go over here on the left side. Once we have that done we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a ladder place a ladder on the center uh, black wool block as a bit of a vent. And we will also need to go ahead and go into our inventory, grab ourselves some red stained glass, some item frames, which are right here, and also some signs. So for this, we're going to go ahead and place down a item frame on the, the sign stinkway block and the black hole block on both sides here. We're going to go ahead and place down a sign over the item frames like that for the back tail lights. Um, after that is done there, uh, we're going to go ahead and take a quartz stair, place it down on both sides here on this orange wool block. Going back from this, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves the uh, black banner. We're going to go ahead and place it down coming off this uh, sign on both sides here. So just like that. And the last thing for us to do for this layer is to just go ahead and take some narrow brick sabs and place down a row two on those narrow brick top sabs. Once that's all complete, that is going to do it for uh, layer four. And with that, we can move on to our last final layer, layer five. Alrighty guys, moving on to layer five. For layer five, we're going to go ahead and start off by taking iron trap doors, placing down an iron trap door on top of this quartz uh, top set or tops up here followed by one and two more iron trap doors back like that along the side same thing over here to the left side as well <clears throat> so just back like this uh, once that's done we're going to take some brick slabs and we're going to place down basically three rows of three in between these rows of iron trap doors on both sides and coming off the uh, two brick slabs here on both sides we're going to place down an iron frame glass uh, block in the iron frame and a sign to kind of cover it up like so um, once that's done, the last thing for us to do is just go to the back, do the off-road light. So for this, we're going to place down a uh, iron trap door on top of this cyan stained clay block, followed by a iron frame coming off of it, and a yellow stained glass pane in the iron frame like that. Once that's all complete, that is going to do it for uh, layer 5 and going to complete the 1993 Toyota T100 trophy truck. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this build. I know it's something a little bit different, not typical mil uh, military stuff like we usually do. Uh, but it's still a really cool build nonetheless, and um, you know I do hope that you guys enjoy it. Also, again, a big special thanks to Patreon supporter TrenchFighter8 for making this video possible. And uh, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is down in the description. And that, guys, that's going to do it for this tutorial. If you guys do want to use this design, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This being thinking from Sun the Build, tweaks my channel or this video if this does appear on your social media sites. Just be sure to get proper credit for the build. That's all I ask for doing these tutorials. It helps my channel grow and it continues to keep me inspired to keep on posting this type of content. So as long as you guys give me credit for it, you're free to use it for every project you guys are working on. And that, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Um, as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary2x4, and I'll see you guys next time.